Hello everyone, welcome to Code Easy. So in today's video, I will show you how you can download Python in your Windows device and run it in Visual Studio Code. So for that, let's open Google Chrome and type in python.org slash downloads. Now once you're in there, you will see download the latest version for Windows. What you can do is simply click on that download Python button and save it any way you like. Now, once the download is complete, you click on that download file and simply click on install now. That installation might take some time for you, but once the installation is complete, it's pretty much done. Now, what you have to do is open Visual Studio Code. If you do not have Visual Studio Code installed in your device, then I have a separate video on how to download Visual Studio Code. So you can go and have a look at that first, which I will link in the description as well. Now let's open Visual Studio Code and open a new folder in there. And I will create a new folder in my local disk D and just name it as Python. Inside that, I will create another folder as Python-1. Now I will select that folder. And before doing anything else, what we will do is go to extensions and search for Python. If you do not have this extension installed, you can simply install, but for now I already have it installed. So I will uninstall it first and then install it again, which is very simple. Just click on that install and it will be done in no time. Now, once that is done, you can close that extensions and go back to your Explorer. Now, once you're in the Explorer, you just create a Python file, which will be index.py. So the index is file name and .py is the extension that you need to use to save your file in Python. Now let's open that and write our first line of Python code, which will be hello from code easy. And save it. Now to run your Python file, it's very simple, very easy. You just click on that run Python file on that right hand side. Once that is done, you can see that hello from code easy has been printed to our terminal. Now let's go and write a few lines of code. In this, we will get a name input from the user. So we will do input and enter your name and save it. And just below that, we will print the name that we just created. Now you do name and save it. Now you run that file again. So it will ask for your name. So we will enter our name there. This will be code easy and you hit enter. And once you're done with that, you can see name has been printed in the terminal. So that's it guys. That's how you download Python and run it in Visual Studio Code. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one.